Iron-on Fusible is a versatile crafting tool that allows you to adhere fabrics together without the need for stitching. It provides a seamless and professional finish to your projects, making it an excellent choice for various craft and sewing applications. Whether you are a beginner or an experienced crafter, Iron-on Fusible offers a quick and easy way to create beautiful and durable fabric crafts. In this guide, I will walk you through the steps of using Iron-on Fusible to create stunning, stitch-free creations. Materials needed 1. Iron-on Fusible Webbing 2. Fabric pieces to be fused 3. Iron 4. Ironing board or heat-resistant surface 5. Scissors 6. Pencil or fabric marker optional 7. Protective cloth or parchment paper. Select the fabric pieces you want to fuse together. Ensure that the fabrics are clean, dry, and free from wrinkles. Pre-wash the fabrics if necessary. Following the care instructions on the fabric labels. Iron on fusible. Iron the fabrics to remove any creases or wrinkles. Ensuring they are smooth and flat. Choosing the right fusible webbing. There are different types of fusible webbing available, such as light, medium, and heavyweights. Select the appropriate type based on the weight and thickness of your fabrics. Read the instructions provided by the manufacturer. To understand the specific requirements for the fusible webbing you are using, measure and mark the desired size and shape of the fabric pieces you want to fuse together. You can use a pencil or a fabric marker to make light marks on the wrong side of the fabric. Cut the fusible webbing slightly smaller than the fabric pieces. To prevent it from extending beyond the edges, place the fabric pieces with the right side facing down on the ironing board or heat-resistant surface. Position the fusible webbing on the wrong side of one fabric piece, ensuring it covers the area you want to fuse together. Place a protective cloth or parchment paper over the fusible webbing to prevent it from sticking to the iron. Set the iron to the appropriate heat setting recommended by the fusible webbing manufacturer. Press the iron firmly on the protective cloth parchment paper, applying heat and pressure evenly over the entire area of the fusible webbing for the recommended duration. Follow the manufacturer's instructions regarding temperature and pressing time. Remove the iron and let the fabric cool for a few seconds. Carefully peel off the protective cloth or parchment paper. Place the second fabric piece with the right side facing up. On top of the fused fabric, aligning the edges. Cover the fabric with the protective cloth or parchment paper again. Press the iron firmly over the fabric. Applying heat and pressure evenly to fuse the layers together. Follow the manufacturer's instructions for the recommended time. Allow the fused fabric to cool completely before handling. Trim any excess fusible webbing that may have extended beyond the fabric edges using scissors. Test the bond by gently pulling the fabric layers apart. You can use this for any quick alterations or stitching. If you like my videos don't forget to like. Let me know did you hear about fusible iron on before this. At the end iron all the curtain and it's ready to hang.